Hi guys, I'm Patrick WWDC and today I'm going to show you how to do polylines on the yeah on the map kit. But I think that I know now how to simulate location. Let me just start this application if I can. Okay, it's started. Now what you want to do is go to hardware or debug location and then like city bicycle ride let's say and then it's going to zoom in and you cannot see it right now as good but just go for here I'm going to run it from here so I'm sure that it's working. Yeah, I can close the record for now. For now. I'm going to debug location freeway drive. It's going to be same generating polyline. So I have already pre programmed everything, I'm just going to go over it. So, what I did was I created the variable last location and a location set. So first in the view of the load, I set the location set to false. And I need this location, last location because I need to generate polyline between a last location and current location. So that's why I actually need it. Let's put this one so you can see better then in did update locations I did if location doesn't exist so I haven't set the last location that's the first update that happens is it going it should so, if I haven't set the last location, that's only going to be true first time the, we receive a new location. Then we are going to uh, set the last location to the manager dot location. Actually, I can also remove this piece of code. I was just trying something else to make it simpler for you. Then I set the current location to manager.location. Oh, someone sent me a message on my phone, but anyway, so we are going to create an array of locations, which is going to have a last location and current location. The last location is the one and the current location is the current. So we are going to draw a polyline from last location to current location. Then we are creating variable coordinates, which we are doing locations, which is this array dot map. We are going to map it. <coughs> and we are going to, what's going to happen is we are going to have coordinates of the locations. So you have these two locations and this coordinates is going to have coordinates of these locations. So we have location location it's going to return CL location coordinate ID in a return location coordinate. So what's that? It's actually a block of code. So it's passing what is happening. It's like for loop, so it's going to do this two times, one for last location, and it's going to pass, this location is going to be last location, first time it runs, and it needs to return this, in, and here is the code, it's just returning its coordinates, and then it's doing the same thing for current location. I cannot explain it too much, but... I'll make another tutorial uh, for blocks in just three tutorials. I'll 
uh, so you can subscribe and you can watch it when it's up. Then we are creating a polyline with coordinates, this array, and how many of them are there, just count. You know that. And then we are adding an overlay polyline. Now let's check if this has created, you see it here, like a line. Now something else. We have the map view renderer for overlay and it needs to return the overlay renderer. So what we are doing is a nice mouse is disconnected for some reason. Okay, it's back. So we are checking if overlay which we mm -hmm. want to render is MK polyline. So if we are doing some other uh, overlay, it's not going to do this piece of code. Then we are going to create a polyline renderer with that overlay that we added here. And then stroke color is going to be blue. That's just the code for blue. This is color of this line. And line width is just what's the width of the line. We can also do that red color. And now if we run it, it's going to be red. And then we are returning polyline renderer. So every time we add an overlay, it's going to run this piece of code. So you see there is a red line. There was a second ago. And yeah, that's basically it. And please, guys, comment down below. Really, comment. Or I'm going to do two comments and then you like which one you like better. Please, guys, do that. Like which one is better. Do you want me to write the code or to do like this? I write, I write the code before I even start recording the tutorial and then I explain it and maybe change something like this color. And we can do the with like crazy numbers and it's going to look really good. I mean, not really good, but yeah. You can play with it. And also when we finish this tutorial, I'm going to do one kind of bigger tutorial when we finish the things with MapKit where we are going to create actually some kind of app maybe for tracking running and that sort of thing. Yeah, so I'm going to comment two things. One comment is going to be that I'm writing the code before recording tutorial and one that I'm writing the code in the tutorial. You say which one is better and I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to wait until next tutorial a little bit so you can actually comment and or like the my comments on this one and as usual you can comment subscribe so you can see which tutorial is coming when tutorial is here so you can see yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time don't forget to like the comment you will like better and yeah bye bye see you